growing up, you know, in a narco family and, and experiencing that? What, what was that like? Uh, since I was a kid, I was taught to get money and hide. Hide to survive because there's people out there that want to murder you. Mm. And uh, I grew up in this mind state that that was normal. They tried to kill me until I was 17. I say around seven assassination attempts. Most of my family has been assassinated. A couple days ago, I asked a friend of mine um, that was going to Colombia to take a symbol of my love to my mother's tomb. My friend didn't mean to, you know, have, didn't mean to set me off how she set me off. She was doing me a favor. But I've never, like, visually seen the tomb. I snapped. And all these thoughts of revenge came through me again. And it's like, I guess, <clears throat> I guess I buried my emotions for a long time. I, I, I never had a closure. So yeah, it's, it's been a rough life. And that's to say the least of the I've been through, you know? I really don't talk too much to regular people about my life <clears throat> unless I'm either getting paid to do it right. or there are people that need to hear something from somebody else that kind of live the same Yeah. But um, lately I've become this emotional like disaster. Right. I wasn't that guy a couple months ago. I can't focus on anything. I'm constantly aggressive. I'm sad. Even happy thoughts make me sad. Is that f crazy? No, that's not crazy. It's very normal for someone that went through the trauma that you went through to have a certain feeling or reaction to what you experienced. You have to realize that you're an individual that have suffered major trauma. And it's awesome that you are actually Surviving, you, you walked into my office today. You said that it's almost like you, you buried your emotions. It's very hard for you to be able to move past something until you've truly dealt with the underlying emotions and feelings. So part of this process is you being able to truly go below the surface. Yeah. And with consistent help, real help. With real help. Okay. Over time. Progressive help. You will see changes. And when you hear yourself going down negative, just capture it. Just pull it back and say, I know that's how I feel, but that's not who I am. I know that's how I feel, but that's not who I am. That's not who you are.